live, therefore I have spoken. I put a price tag on this, this, what's coming out of this book, and the knowledge and understanding you can receive from it. When you say that God knows our heart, that's an excuse. God ain't dealing with excuses. First, I want to give all praise to the Most High, Hayabashi, and Shire, and the name of the Hamashiach and Shire. Alright, Matthew 24 and 37. We're going to speak of how today is like we are in the days of Noah. People are oblivious to the prosperic time that we're in. Brothers and sisters, you must wake up, for destruction is not. Matthew 24, 37. Matthew chapter 24, verse 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. As the days of Noah were, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. Christ is on his way. And he's not coming as a lamb. He's coming as a lion to execute judgment upon the ungodly. Like the days of Noah were, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. How was the days of Noah were? Genesis 6 and 11. For we are transgressing the Most High commandment. Christ did not come to save the world. Christ did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. For the world was condemned already. For he shall execute judgment upon the earth. Read. Genesis chapter 6 verse 11. The earth also was corrupt before God. The earth was corrupt before God. Read. And the earth was filled with violence. The earth was filled with violence. There's violence on every corner. That's because you haven't seen it, it's being done. Every time you look on the news, there's violence being done. It's like we don't love our neighbors anymore. We despise each other. We rather go into our own way. Read. Verse 12. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt. For all the flesh has corrupted his way upon the earth. All flesh has corrupted his way. All flesh do. Do contrary to what the Most High commanded. All flesh has corrupted his way. Women acting like men. Women trying to surpass men. Men acting like women. Men being docile, not taking the leadership position, leading their house, saying their house in order. All flesh has corrupted his way. We must repent, come back to the most high. Everybody do what's right in their own eyes. For the most high commanded us not to do right in our own eyes. Deuteronomy 12 and 8. 
Everybody do what's right in their own eyes. The most I command is not to do so. Deuteronomy chapter 12 verse 8. You should, look, you should not do after the other things that we do here this day. We shall not do as the things we do this day. Going about our own way. Establishing our own righteousness. That's contrary to the Most High Commandment. We shall walk in the ways of the Most High, for we were created in the image of the Most High. Continue, continue on, brother. Every man, whatsoever, is right in his own eyes. For son, for you are not as yet come to the rest and to the inheritance which the Lord your God giveth you. We all... We are under a curse. And because of this curse, we lost our inheritance. According to Jeremiah 17 and, 17 and 4, we are cut off from our inheritance. Why? Because everybody do what's right in their own eyes. We must come back to the Most High. We must repent. We must do what's right in the Most High eyes. We must do what's right in His eyes. Following his law, commandments, and statutes. Deuteronomy 6 and 18. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 18. And thou shalt do that which is right and good in the sight of the Lord. We shall, we must do, we must do what's right in the sight of the Most High. Not what's right in our own eyes. For our heart is exceedingly wicked, according to Jeremiah 17 and 9. We must do what's right in the most high eyes, and that's keeping the law, commandments, and statutes. What's wrong with thou shalt not steal? Just don't steal. Don't touch anything that's yours. What's wrong with not com what's wrong with thou shalt not commit adultery? What's wrong with thou shalt not murder? For these things are right in the most high eyes. But man says, man says. What the most high, the most high laws is too much to follow. But you follow every law upon the land. The red light tell you, the red light shine red, you stop. You see a stop sign, you stop at the stop sign. But there's a problem with the most high laws. With you following the most high laws, right? We must repent, come back to the most high. And do what's not right in our eyes, but do what's right in the most high eyes. Christ came, Christ came not to condemn the world but to save it. John 3 and 17. For the Most High is going to execute judgment upon the earth. He's going to execute judgment upon those who despise his lost commandments and statutes, for he bear not his sword in vain according to Romans 13 and 4. John 3 and 17. John chapter 3 verse 17 For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world He sent not his son to condemn the world Christ came in the world to edify us and to show us the way back to the most high To fulfill the law To be an example on how to fulfill the law We must come back to the most high and accept Christ as our savior and repent and baptized for the remission of our sin. Continue reading on, brother. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So we might be saved by his word, by his way. We must follow the ways of Christ. According to Matthew 10, he is the only way back to the Father. We must repent for the remissions of our sin and, and start following these laws, commandments, and statutes. Or you shall be judged according to your iniquity. John 12 and 48. The Most High is going to execute judgment upon this earth. For we are in the last day. These are the times of His vengeance. All this chaos is not happening in the world for no reason. There's a reason for everything. Under the sun. John 12, 48. John chapter 12, verse 48. He that rejected 
righteous me and receive not my words have one that judge of him. The word that I have spoken, the same should judge him in the last day. The word that he has spoken shall judge you in the last day. Shall stand against you in the last day. If you were committing adultery, and the word came to your ear, thou should not commit adultery. And you acknowledge that was the law of the Most High. And you continue in that wicked, wicked act. You shall be judged according to that sin. You shall be judged according to the judgment of that sin. Isaiah 66 and 16. The Most High is going to execute judgment upon the whole earth. Upon the whole earth. We must come back to these law commandments and statutes. We corrupted our ways. Nobody goes after the Most High's ways anymore. Nobody delights in the Most High's ways anymore. We're supposed to be following God, not man. Isaiah 66 and 16. The Most High is going to judge the whole earth. Isaiah chapter 66 verse 16. For by fire, for by fire, by war, by missiles, there's a war coming. It's just a calm before the storm. We hear it on the news. Ain't hard to tell that soon something is going to happen. It's prophesied that this, this land we call, we so-called America, which is Babylon according to scripture, is going to fall. By fire. Continue. For by fire and by his sword, for the Lord plead with our flesh by fire and by sword shall the most high plead with all flesh. We gotta come back to this law, commandments, and statutes. That's the only way you're gonna be saved. If you keep the law, commandments, and statutes, that will be your righteousness. It shall justify you in these last days. But if you despise them, you shall feel his sword. Shalom.